Welcome back, everyone, to the Zero K. What's it called? Grand Finale 2018 1v1 tournament. We have the second semifinals match that is going to be played right now. It's going to be Anarchid up against Drone. And this is going to be interesting. We already had the one with Steel Blue and Gorda, which was. That was Gorda taking it 2 0, but Steel Blue doing a lot of really good work. Anarchid now went 2 1 against Darkstron in some rather close matches. But now up against Drone. Drone having beaten out Randy 2-1 as well. So both these players fought through reasonably strong competition in order to get here. And I think they're... That's going to be fairly even, too. This could be a bit of a longer match we're looking at here. I'm... There we go. I'm kind of curious what we're going to be setting up, though. Because I... The first match, I think, is going to be on Seth's Ravine again. Okay, we saw Seth's Ravine last time, and that was interesting because it was a macro-oriented map that ended up having a lot of interesting approaches because it was so macro-oriented and ended up actually going into... Like, it went very quickly into a um, just heavy unit stage, and there wasn't much adaptation to that at least in Steel Blue's part, but I'm curious what's going to happen between Anarchid and Drone, where Drone is such a massive macro player, and Anarchid's been playing long enough they can easily get in on that game. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where... Where are we doing this? I... Apologies to everyone watching the stream right now. I'm not sure where the match for the semifinals is going to be. So, where is the game? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Found it. Oh, it was started too already. Started 32 seconds ago. Yep. Okay, let's get in. My bad. Alright, so again, this is going to be on Seth's Ravine. And I, I, I mentioned before, before you got back, Google Frog, that I'm thinking this game is going to be a very very macro-oriented game because both players are very macro-oriented. Their styles of play really fit this map. What are your thoughts? Google Frog? Okay, I guess Google Frog's not here right now. Alright, never mind. So we have Anarchy going for jump butts and oh, Google Frog sorry, going for, oh, for Cloaky. Okay, cool. So we have another Cloaky versus, versus jump bot matchup here. Anarchid on the jump bots, Drone on the Cloaky. Yeah, Cloaky in the Northwest, too. But, of course, Drone is very macro-oriented, so I'm curious how this is going to work with the increased greed on both sides. Oh, these features, these trees and rocks don't actually reclaim for anything. Nope. That's a bit of a, bit That's of a thing. That's always a weird thing about this map. This is the one map I can think of offhand where it does not have what you'd expect for reclaim. I think the springboard or similar program features don't have reclaim values by default so you gotta add they, those in they don't but i don't think that, was this done with, was this redone with springboard yeah this is redone recently i think oh, they okay, haven't okay. quite polished it up yet oh okay that this makes version. sense because i know the original so I, guess, I think the original the the area the features weren't even really features like you couldn't even knock them down it was this really weird thing where they blocked stuff and didn't work at all right that might have been a bug. I recall the features being quite reclaimable. Okay. The rocks which are down below perhaps weren't, but the trees and rocks which are at the top were. Hmm. I think oh, Anarchid's sure now. better out of the gate. Let's see. Anarchid's got the expansion over the northeast and center. Yeah. Drone going for this very the north side, but they aren't actually going for a whole lot else that quickly. Much more concerned about getting all these lotuses up to stop the puppies from getting in rather than actually building up the metal extractors. Anarchy, on the other hand, much more naked. Focus much more on making sure that nothing can get through these little gaps. Like, stopping the choke points, not so much defending the yeah, bases. Yeah, jump to the choke points. 
I guess the thing about Jumpy here is you can actually get some pyros around the sides. Yep. No, this this area right here, you could easily buy the Lotus in the north side of the map. Yeah, or even just there. two jumps using the little island. Yeah, but the thing is, is that Drone isn't playing jump bots, so Drone can't do that. Drone has to go in with Claves or... Exactly, or so Drone's else. a little bit more worried about raids around the edges, whereas mm -hmm. Anaki can just block off the little entrances, little land entrances, and be fine. Except, and... I guess, from Scythe. Yeah, well, Scythe, that's not Scythe happening. Back. Could kill four mechs, and that could... That's probably oh, worth that's it. happening. No, actually, we are going to see a Scythe. Drone has one queued up after these five slings. Oh, yeah, I see one now. He's just got five oh, slings, right. Scythe, and repeat. Okay, never see, mind. Drone in spectating the other match was saying he wanted slings instead of snipers. Well, I'm sure the thing is, Drone knows what to build. Like, they would go for Night Sling or just generally have slings as the anti defense. But yeah, it's that's good to know that they have that in mind. I'm... Yep. Slings? Anarch is correctly identified. Okay, yeah. It's a. It's an easily defensible map, so let's make another factory quite early. Whereas yep. Drone has opted to go for the edges. Well, Drone is behind Anarchid in the process, so I'd say you're right before about Anarchid having an advantage here. Especially now that they're having a bunch of Ravens coming in. Looks like that's going to be able to get rid of the Slings without problem. Well, the Scythe coming in managed to do some damage at least, so... Anarchid... Oh, nice placeholder! Stopping the Scythe in his tracks... That's it for the Scythe. Still 3 mil per second, so Anarchy and Drone are even now as a result of that Scythe. But, and whoa, and look at the, um... Oh, and the Slings, more so here. the Slings. Yeah! Well, what is Jumpy going to do against Slings with Stinger Pushes? Firewalk is Jacks, but yeah, Firewalk yeah. is coming in. Firewalker is an option, and of course Thunderbird is another option. Anarchy is going for a Commander Snipe. Massing a few Ravens without revealing. That makes sense. They would need about eight of them. Commander, but the commander is quite a force. You know, to push. Not eight, sorry, four. It need four of them. Actually, where is the commander? Wait, anyway? where are the geo spots? Hmm? Where, <laughs> There's oh, an extra. Geo? This is an yeah, untested map. You see, there's an extra geo spot just oh, south yeah. of Drove's base. <laughs> okay. See, it's pretty new. The uh, remake. No kidding. All right, I did not realize that. Because, again, this map is very old, like you mentioned before, so it's not like I was expecting it to be remade. Though it does well, seem to be working reasonably well. Ramper. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I just didn't expect it to be remade as quickly. But this is cool. Uh, the ravens have been revealed, but... Ah, oh, I didn't quite manage to... There's enough to burst down that commander. Yep, as four ravens, one coming in here, and the singer's already done its job. Pyro coming in as just extra support, just in case, but no, does not need that at all. Drone losing their commander, and they already had the storage, though. They were already prepared. But it's high metal, so it's not that bad. That too, They're yeah. making aircraft of their own. I and they have the top counter. locked down. Yeah, so I wonder if we're going to see counter snipe, and also if we're going to see something from, like Thunderbirds or... Just more Raven assaults on the north side of the map to try to take out Drone's economy. Drone really wants to kill those Firewalks, I think. Can't say I blame them. I mean, a couple Ravens will do the trick. Ooh. What? This this map has that bug that Aquanim found we're trying to make out uh, orally on. Which is... If you place Metal Extractors with, I think it is, I don't know, some, there's some gadget which places them, which seems to make them a bit blocked in some situations. They sort of have collision volumes, the yep. little metal extractor features. Oh, I see. But wait, where's the, f where, which metal extractor is not being built? Oh no, not, not being built, but sometimes units won't fire at metal extractors. Oh, I see, right, yeah. But it seems to not be that effective. It was mostly a really weird bug with um, Corsairs firing at metal extractors that are built on the land. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably not a problem here. Especially if there's... Which was since links. fixed. As in, Aquanim fixed it in his map, and this map might not have the update. Hmm. So we've got a mature game, I'd say. They're pretty even. 
both have air. Yeah, so I'm expecting... Oh, wow. Anarchy already getting two more factors. Going for Amphbots and Cloakbots. Maybe for Grizzly and Phantom, I'm guessing, but... Not entirely could sure. Be could be Limpid or Lobster as well. Oh, Maybe yeah, he I just wants just throw Angler. Up. He might just really like Angler for AA. Like, dense AA. Right. Yeah, get a few, get four Anglers up and then... Cloak Bottom's not sure what that's for. I mean, Phantoms maybe. There's not a lot of heavy forces. Sides maybe to get through the Gremlins. That might make sense. The um, Licko is done. Okay, so with the Licko... Oh, I see what Maybe it is, yeah. he's going to kill that commander. Eventually. Maybe. Anna could just sure dug himself in a hole. I mean, Anna could go for the Lico whole strategy. Could kill that commander. It could. No, Licko drops down, so yeah. Oh no, Licko, it fires sideways. Ravens drop down. If you fire it while it's flying over, you can get it to go mostly vertical. And it's got the AoE to be True. pretty effective in any case. But it looks Ooh, like the main target getting... is the Firewalkers. Yeah, which is pretty good. It got stuck by the moderators, but it seems to be fine. That's not going to deal enough damage from the moderators. I mean, it's got, what, 4,000 HP? Oh, sorry, 2,500 oh, like two, HP. Nah, 2,000. Yeah, uh, moderators are 500 the damage, knight, 460 damage each. can just reach down and get the commander, I think. Yeah, if they poke their head in. Well, that's Anarchid losing their commander, but I think Anarchid's prepped for that. Yeah, they have storage. Okay, okay, Grizzly is coming from Ampbots. We aren't seeing Anglers. We are indeed seeing Grizzly. Not sure what's happening with Cloakbots. Looks like... Oh, we were getting the Iris for Cloakbots. Okay, so Cloaked push of Grizzlies. That's apparently the plan. Well, Cloaking is pretty good against something like Wyvern anyway. I mean, Bico. That's a fair point. Yeah, if Cloaking Although gets Although Anarchid has um, paid for that in army. He's got a very small actual frontline army while the Grizzly was building up. And Although Drone doesn't have much either. A yeah, bunch of Gremlins, think, some Knights, a Lico. I'm thinking Anarchid's thinking that all the Gremlins being built means the Namish frontline is there, so, they, so it's possible to get a Grizzly in time. Work with that. That is accurate. Although this Cloakbot factory, it, I mean, it has the iris, it's queued up, but it's not going for it. So I'm not really sure what the plan is, other than... An Arcid is accessing energy. Yeah, look at that grid. Oh, yeah. It's not a happy grid. Oh. I mean, they have a pylon being built up, but it's going to take a little while. Yeah, they're almost there in a few spots. So the Grizzlies come in. It's pretty strong against Lico because just because of its health. It does get attrition down eventually. It does, but in the meantime, it can at least deal a fair bit of damage. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of dealing damage against. Anarchy's going for a lot of light units and not really not much Drones else. thoroughly ahead the, here. on the economy, having taken the top and even the sort of center top. Yeah, it's just a matter of what's what they're going to turn it into. Because right now, it's it the time of the map Raptors. where it looks like Drone is winning. You just look at the line of sight and say, well, Drone has two good choke points. They've got control over both the entrances to the side wings. Right. And Arkin has to Anarchid. push through one of those. Yeah. Well, that's what the Iris would be for in theory, but they just haven't decided to finish it, so I'm guessing it's just going to be pure Grizzly This Grizzly's going to clear back. out the left. The um, bottom middle. Yeah, there goes the Stardust. That's one of the biggest threats. After that... I feel like Nine oh, Glaives. No though. Nine Glaives might be the Grizzly. I but think not before so. it retreats. No, there's not power coming well. Yeah, and pyro support, eh, it's not going to happen. The one thing I'm thinking is, like, what are we going to be seeing for Anakin for kind of a frontline support? Because you have the Grizzlies coming in, that's great. But we need some units that are smaller. I think his frontline force is just Grizzlies. That seems to be where he's going. Risky. We've got two Lickos. Oh, wow. Yeah, one for each. And this Geoplan... Is Anakin going to take this Geoplan or what? Because, I mean, they, they could, I think. Yeah, they totally could. Maybe they're just worried about that that whole energy excess problem, which admittedly is not much, as much of a problem, but even then, even with overdrive, they're still kind of behind economically. Ooh, uh, but Lico got rid of the Lico. 2,200 cost in AA, which you might expect. Right, but that's worth it. Lico's are 2,000 are 2, themselves. Yes, and also the AA didn't die at all. So, so super worth it. Yeah, good job. But again, I'm curious what's going to happen afterwards. We have Legos coming in already from Anakin. Two from Anakin. Only one here from Drone. 
both teams seem to be primarily, or both players primarily seem to be going for Two Grizzlies. Drone Rico's. has to do something against Grizzly. Maybe a few Phantoms would be good. Sling might even be sort of a a stopgap solution. Yeah, I would think like Sling's sling can never be hit. Well, they can't be hit with the Grizzly, but the Rico's beg to differ. But Ooh. there are enough Raptors. There are Raptors. Enough is a strong term. On the other well, hand, Anakin moving on to Grizzly, Raptors I don't know. just killed a Lico, and I could have had a Lico. Right, that's true. I was thinking that the Raptors are kind of being threatened by the Anglers and the Archangels, but that's yeah, fair. Or Toads, not Archangels. Anglers and Toads. <laughs> Do we know what happens where that animation bug comes from? Yeah, things don't. The engine devs say that start and stop moving animation commands shouldn't actually be useful for every case. Okay. So if you sort of get hit by impulse in the right way while moving and then keep moving without sort of starting to move, but just fall and then move into moving. Right. Then, then it you does that. Start and oh, okay. That There's a workaround for things where it's important, like um, fencer. Oh, okay. Drone needs to control his Lycos. He just lost two for no reason. Yeah, I think that might open things up. I mean, is nowhere near winning. Drone... Wow! Drone, what the... That's an economy. Two fusion plants on top of all the overdrive, on top of the reclaim, on top of the fact that they have ha more than half the map. I mean, Anakin's fighting fusions. valiantly, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's look, like, look at the overdrive. Has, has it been effective? For Anakin? Not really, no. Sort of. Drone has more overdrive in come. Yeah, and more metal extractors. But I think it's mainly his control of the top and the middle right. But not to mention just all the reclaim. So I don't know. I mean, we've gotten a lot of reclaim here. It's just no one's taking it. And this is what I say all the time. Take re I never expected to actually say this during tournament match with high-level play, but there's reclaim here. Get the reclaim. It is hard to get constructors in. I think he's planning on using puppies. He's got a few puppies. Oh, look at this. The cornea? Yep, cornea to Iris. Got the Iris up. All right. There's Anarchid's chance, I suppose. Go with the Iris, cloak, Grizzlies, and then walk in with that. Might do the trick. Assuming these Glaives can't just push in and destroy everything, because I think Drone might be able to win with these Glaives. Lego coming in to try to help out, but the Glaives have already spread out enough. It's not going to be a problem. Oh, boy. Anarchid's lost all their power. These Glaives should be able to take care of basically everything over to the north side of the map. And this might be game. Yeah, that was good. The Grizzly's out of position. The Grizzly's out of that position. There's no of real energy. riots built up. There's nothing really that would stop Glaives. So yeah, that's that's it. And um, Vanguard wasn't lost before. Anakid could make a few puppies and do a big final puppy push with all the reclaim. Yeah, but no. They, they've shot the GG. That is game one going to Drone. Good job, Drone. It seemed like an okay map, an unusual one. We don't... Like, the choke points are very slim. Yeah, and that's... That seemed to be the main thing that gave the advantage in for Drone. Or for, I mean, initially for Anakin in a way, but then Drone was able to take the top and control the choke points, and that was it. Anakin couldn't really do much with the, with the units they went for. Although I still kind of wish Anakin had gone for a few light units to support the Grizzly. Like, yeah, Grizzly has a way of punching through defenses, but then put something else in there as a follow-up. Do we just immediately start the next game? Okay, so immediately start the next game. Sorry, the next game. All right. This is Anarchid's choice of map. I kind of expect that in Sonia, but I don't... I didn't see what it was because it, I didn't go to the lobby first. Me neither. Oh. We'll be surprised. Hooray for surprise, I guess. It is... What? This looks wrong. What do you mean? This isn't Alien a map. Desert. Oh, you're right, because that's that's a game three map. I think Anaka just. Yeah, Anaka just said we're doing this map. Okay. Drone so agreed. They, they stuck on it. All right. Well, that's fine. I'm not the TO, so that's that's up to. 
shaman, I guess, but I think it's fine if the players agree. All right, so we have rovers versus rovers. Ah, shaman, if we exit. I don't know. Okay, shaman's, shaman's nah, on. He said it's fine. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, shaman is the TO, so it's up to them. Yep, he said that. It would be good if Shaman had powers in the room, like moderator powers inside the tournament rooms. That needs to be patched in. That's a good point. Because you can't actually talk to the um, the people playing the tournament. Yeah, you're just hoping that they actually games. listen to you and do things the way you want them no, to. No, you can't actually talk to them, as in, you know, the spectators are all muted and everything. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, that's a, that is a fair... That's actually, that sounds like a lot of stuff, actually. Anyway, we've got... Rover Rover. Yep. Which is the way Drone. things go nowadays, because tanks aren't really played anymore. Except on hilly maps. Really? I feel like I tanks may come back. I feel like tanks get played on maps where you're likely to not get rovers. It's kind of weird. I see them on Wanderlust all the time. I don't see them on Alien Desert that often. Drone tried to expand to the bottom and lost his mason, which is pretty big. That is huge. They're, they don't even have another mason built up, actually. It looks like they're just trying to go for counter-harassment. Maybe, but Anarchid's not really having that. Anarchid should be fine, actually. Anarchid's build up a fair bit faster. They have nothing else really in the way. They had that mason up, so... Having that mason early is huge. Losing that mason early is especially huge. I'm actually not sure where drone's getting the money from. Anarchid just seems to be expanding a bit slower. Yeah, drone has problem? four mexes. Anarchid has three. Weird. That's the difference. Oh, I see. Because Anarchid went forward first. They spent more time getting that outside max. Yeah. And Drone's also doubling the down back. Yeah. Let's make two more masons. Well, that's good. Oh, three need... Yeah, that's good for them to do because they need that. They need the build power. Having lost that mason early on. I mean, granted, it didn't really harm them too much ultimately, but still. But they have Get... lost their army. Although it, it will be rebuilt by the time. And I could get to here. It should be. Drone is focused a bit. Oh yeah, there's this course. I was a bit more focused on the masons, but yeah, you're. It's. It'll be fine. Although at the same time, Anakin is masons. really pushing the mid. Right, but Anakin is really pushing the middle. Drone is going hard on the masons. I think they're just expecting they're not going to be harassed simply because there'll be too many masons to harass. Like Anakin is going to split their forces too much to actually stop the expansions from happening. Oh, there's a good raid coming in the top. Yeah, that's Metal Extractor down. The Mason tr managed to escape, though. And a Solar. And oh, but in Anarchid's base, yeah, Drone. Oh, get rid of the Solar. Didn't lose oh, anything. Mason, and is maybe. behind. Mason, reclaim that Solar. That's your only hope. It's literally its only hope. Or just have the Scorcher run away. Well, it was going to be reclaimed. Try and get a mix out of it. Yeah. That makes sense. Just unfortunately went a little bit too far forward. But the mace now over the western side of the map is going to go down. Anakin should be able to take that out. And Drone upon... Oh, no. Drone? Playing that safe? Uh, Drone's back. just running his mace as well. And Anakin yeah, had a lot of vision, though. They did. Anakin, I think, might be realizing that Drone really doesn't have much in the way of army. But at the same time, Drone doing a fine job just keeping Anakin distracted while they build up. Oh, Anakin Drone, going for the throat. That's no, that's not going to work. Mason in the main base does not does go down. Barely goes down. So Drone at least doesn't have as much in the way of build power to make use of that metal, but they are expanding fast, and Anarchid cannot stop them. Yeah, two of the four Masons have survived. That's good. I That's don't know if he's enough. built more. I think... Let's see. There there are no more Ooh, Those queue. Scorchers could actually kill the Lotus. The ones from Drone? Yeah, they could have, but... Yeah, he's going back to get... An army of six, but by that time it might be too late. Yeah, with Anarchy regrouping it and the darts coming in there as well, that should be enough yeah. to stop. Well, okay, if they play defensively, it should be enough. Anarchy going forward like that won't be enough. In fact, those. That Scorch Dark combo is gonna not make it. Anarchy fall back, thank you. The drone is running low on energy, so Anarchy. Like. They're kind of doing okay right now. Drone doesn't have the energy to spend their metal, they don't have the build power in their main base to spend their metal. So Anarchid actually has the opportunity to just out-eat or out-produce Drone. 
No, a drone is building up energy in the middle of the map. He's getting masons. More masons than in his factory. Oh, yeah, Just go. repeat mason. See, drone knows how to build enough constructors. That's his his thing. Yeah, it's just a question of timing, though. Because Lotus is going to go down. The second Lotus is not going to be able to even get up. And then the Mason is going to go down. So that's, that's three of the four Masons that are dead. On top of another expansion. But Drone got... They got their money's worth. That expansion was, work, was worth it. At this point, I'd say it's reasonably even. But this, this harass here with Drone, having Anarchy push all the forces out of position, it could very well still get rid of them. The state of the game depends on where their forces are, really. Like, Drone's yeah. got a good position. Dr oh, Drone had a good position. I don't know. I think if they had attacked the main base, Drone would have been doing especially well. Might have just won there. No. Uh, three Lotuses. I don't think three Lotuses behind Sol is, is killable by that force. Mm, I think it depends on where they come in from. I think if they came well, in yes. like from the bottom like, here-ish, they might have had a chance. But, I don't know. Oh, there's a Ripper doing its job. Nicely done. Good timing in the Ripper from Anarchid. That fully depends on their base. Drone cannot get in there. Same time, Anarchid can't really get any retaliation, but the fact that they had the Rippers there is going to force Drone to switch over to F Ravager or Fencer. Or maybe Dami. But Scorchers are not going to be that useful anymore. Unless Drone decides to go for side raids. Not much in the way of side raid opportunities, but if Drone does go for that, then I guess they could still go for Scorchers. So yeah, this is... They're sort of holding for the moment. Drones consolidating. And Arkid's sort of failing to expand. But also consolidating. Yeah, although unfortunately Anarchid... All these Masons are undefended! No! Anarchid, do you not have radar? Anarchid doesn't actually really have much radar coverage. Okay, that makes sense. It's unfortunate they lost all those Masons for nothing. But that's why we build radar. Wait, where is Drone's radar? Oh, Anakin's radar is right here. Got Radar Shadow. Got killed. Well, yeah, what was alive had ra Radar Shadow or just was too far away. I feel like someone's going to go into a new factory soon. Well, it's 30 metal per second. I would expect it to happen by now. And it looks like Drone probably setting that up first. Getting Anakin's commander oh. out as well. That's Anakin's commander is looks like done. He's dead. Or no, no, it's not. No, the Lotus is built up. That's Ooh. actually... No, it's not enough. Nope, it not enough. Depended whether Drone wanted to spend those Scorches on it. Yeah, well, given that much damage dealt to Anarchid, it's hard to say. The start of the North is locking that down to keep Drone's control, but at the same time, that was a lot of Scorches that were lost. That was like eight Scorchers. It's like 900 metal. Yeah, probably worth That's... the income and the Constructor. That's true. Getting that out of the way is definitely important. And the fact that drone seems to be taking it over, it could we could see a couple of masons go over there and grab the reclaim pretty shortly. But it is kind of a no man's land, so hard to tell. On the other hand, Anarchid coming in here, getting rid of the metal extractors, getting rid of the solar collectors. Drone has finally some making to defend, drone get turrets yeah. in his base. Yeah, it's it's been a long game where drone's been basically naked in their base. But now it's over, and that Mason is not going to go down because Scorcher decided to go greedy. Same time, though, all these all these fencers, Drone's just setting up for a slow push with fencers. We were talking about the fencer push earlier, but this is late game fencer push or mid game. Fencer yeah, this push. is your opponent's made turrets. Just get some fences and deal with them. Yeah, pretty much. And the Rippers coming in here, I don't see what they're going to do. I mean, the positioning is good, coming into the side of the fencers. That's actually the one thing I think that's actually going to get them anywhere in this match, because otherwise the fencers would have been far enough away. But nope. Nope. Good side position. Good flank. Anarchid managed to take that out. Drone still has a massive advantage on Scorchers, mind you. But at least it's not as massive. But unfortunately, Drone's... Yeah, they're they're in a great position. Anarchid cannot get the force back. He's got an which is impaler. weird. Yeah, that Impaler's going to go down. That Impaler will not live. Actually, Maybe I don't know it was... Fencer? Uh, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Wait, how close is Fencer? Fencer and Impaler are very far apart for hockeys, for default hockeys. I mean, maybe he meant to kill the fences with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, I thought he meant maybe that was uh, supposed to be a Fencer. I'm thinking, nope. would be very surprising. Yeah. 
Well, at any rate, Anarchid going for what looks like a last-ditch effort to knock out Drone's economy, but honestly, I don't see where they could go in. Too many Lotuses around, too many Stardusts around. No easy way to get rid of any of those metal extractors, and really... Other than the fact that the Rippers are there compared to Drone, drone Scorchers, there's not a whole lot that Anarchid has to actually pull this back. Am I not a lot? I mean nothing. I think Drone's been actually doing another round of expansion. Looks like I wonder if they're I wonder if they're aware of how much Anarchid has expanded. No, they don't know whether or not Anarchid expanded has expanded over to the southeast side of the map. And if Anarchid had, it would make sense to expand a little more before going in. But if Drone sees the southeast and realizes there's nothing built there, I think they'll realize they're so far ahead they could just push. Because they're so far ahead they could just push. But I don't think they see that. It doesn't look like that's an obvious tell for Drone. They're just thinking Anarchid's in a reasonably good economic position. Oof, I think I think Drone Drone has seen it. Drone knows. I think we should see Drone go for an attack now. They saw that the Southeast is basically not expanded to, that Anarchid has no money whatsoever. And really Drone could just attack. So at this point, Drone looks like they're about ready to push push in and go for the kill. Okay, well, with that, looks like we're going to have, yeah, it's going to be pretty quick. Anarchy? Actually, no, maybe not. Anarchy doing a good job defending, despite having a fifth of the metal. It's honestly no, kind of surprising. No, I think he's resigning at some point. I, I imagine as the... much. It just seems like it's just last, these last just efforts to defend. I mean, obviously they want to stay in the tournament, so that makes sense, but... I don't know where they're planning on actually getting the win off this, because I don't see it. Drone's got too much reclaim, too much static economy, there's just too much going on here. Looks like that's going to be pretty much game. Yep, there it is. Anarchy throws in the towel, there's the GG, and we have people going in the bronze match and the finals. So, if we look at the brackets right now, it is... Let's see, the brackets are... Anarchid and Steel Blue in the bronze match, facing it out for third place, and Drone and Gorda in the finals. Bronze match first, is it? Yeah, usually, yep, that's how I do it. So we're going to be having a short break, and then going straight to the bronze match, so stay tuned for that.